Hi everyone, this is Ryan and for today's topic, I'm going to be talking about the three types of people who should not trade Forex. All right? Now, there are basically three main types of people I feel that who should not trade Forex. Right? The first type would be the people who are, who, sorry, who are impulsive. All right? People who are impulsive should not trade Forex. This means that if you do not have the discipline to follow your rules, right? when you're trading rules, then you should probably not be trading, right? And the second type of people who should not be trading Forex are people who do not have patience. All right? Now, trading Forex is not about just sitting down in front of your computer screen, opening up your charts and start clicking the buy and sell button continuously. All right? We need to wait for the setup to come to us. All right? Sometimes this waiting could take the whole day. Sometimes when we sit down, the trade might be there already waiting for us. Right? So if the trade is waiting there, you know, if the trade is trade setup is already there waiting for us, then I think that's not really a problem. The, the real problem comes when you have to sit there and wait a few hours for your trade setup to come. Right? And if you do not have the patience to wait for the trade setup to happen, to wait for the trade setup to form, then you probably then you probably shouldn't be trading as well. And thirdly, the the type of people who should not be trading forex would be someone who can't afford to lose. Right now, when I say that, it doesn't mean that you know uh, if you if you can't afford to lose. Fifty thousand, hundred thousand dollars. I'm not talking about those kind of amounts, right? But if you can't afford to lose even a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars, then I think you should not be trading forex at this moment, right? You should probably um, maybe take up a part-time job or save up more money until you have more capital before you can afford to lose a hundred or two hundred dollars in trading. All right. So these are the three types of people who I feel should not be trading forex, right? So if you are, if you have one of these trades, then my advice is that uh, you know you, you try to correct it right try to correct your trade try to learn a bit more patience try to learn to be a bit more disciplined and if you know you can't afford to lose a hundred or two hundred dollars then maybe you should just hold on for a while you know wait a few more weeks a few more months to save up more money more capital before you can afford to lose that small amount of money in the uh, in, in trading forex okay so i hope you learned something from today's video and uh, hope you gain some knowledge as well if you like my videos and want to continue watching them then please like my facebook page or subscribe to my youtube channel there's a new video every day and i'll see you in the next video all right bye bye